Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Arthur Robotnik. And I'm Moon Eagle. And we're back at Let's Play Mega Man X. Or the people that thought back in 1994 they would call this Mega Man 10. Which is a incredibly moronic statement. Let's see, now I save Tornado for this guy. And yeah, see, that was a curb stop now. I feel like a stupid man. I feel like... And we got our final heart, we got our heart tank there. Let's see. We should be nearing Octopus, so... Yeah. Oh, I can fight another one of those dudes, so let me get my tornado powers activated. Coat. Oh, nah, no one's gonna get the joke. <laughs> there we go. See how easy it is to kill him with the tornado, dude. This is. Now it goes from hard to too easy. <laughs> Yeah, I see. Let's see. Equip rolling shield. Launch octopus. Oh, he just told me I'm going down. It's going to probably be DSP when I fight him in Street Fighter 5 when that comes out. How does a shield defeat a missile launching octopus? Video game logic! I guess in real life it would reflect back to him. I'm just gonna stick with that. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. If I had the ten if I had the boomerang cutter, I could actually cut off his tentacles. Would there would there be blood oil spraying everywhere? No. Oh no! I've seen enough anime to know where that's going! Ew! <laughs> Phil actually made a joke about that with Otacom when he that's like it. Like, you know, um, like, like, remember in that Metal Gear Solid 1 where he, like, goes, how he wants to, like, help humanity by building the robots, just like in the animes. Phil said he wanted to make the engineer the tentacle dicks. He actually ruined, then again, he ruined Sniper Wolf's stat. Oh, then again, by now, Metal Gear is a game from 1998. But he, like, ruined two character deaths. Like, especially Psycho Manus's, which he was like, please step on my balls. Yeah, I see. He's like ruining like the death, and then like, then again, doing like Metal Gear Solid 3, like every game he'll find some way to, he'll find some way to ruin the best moments of any game. Now DSP is a freaking moron. Let's see. Let's head back to, nah, let's wait. Let's see. Boomer Kawanga. Boomer Beetle. I guess Boomer Beetle didn't have a ring to it. Then when it comes to the name Boomer, I think of that humping clown from that shitty fighting game, Balls 3D. <laughs> <laughs> With that shitty porno soundtrack. Boy. Ah. Boy. Ah. Ah. We're not Earthwoman versus Eagle in that game. We're not. That game just sucks, and it's just a pure button mash fest. Wait, what is? Balls 3D. Oh. It's like a bastardized version of Tekken. Oh. <clears throat> Which, since I'm a huge fan of that series, I should mention. Which, god, we gotta do that game someday. Wait, Pokemon? No, Tekken. Oh. We'll, we'll do Pokemon Tournament when that comes out, too. God, I'm like ready for that game to freaking come out. And let me guess, that video's about Lavender Town that night. Yeah. I remember back in like 2012, I was like all the ra like back in like 2012, that and Slenderman was all the rage along with Jeff the Killer. Yeah. And back when like Sonic.exe was getting overused. Now all those things are remembered as well, Slenderman's still kinda is still pretty cool in my opinion. 
But that's because he's mostly mysterious, and people just can make up their own yeah, theories. Yeah, but the .exe games are now subjected to many jokes. Yeah. Like, Sanic.exe. But, but, but like, uh, like, ones like Sanic and Skunky, those are, those are actually genuinely funny. Let's see. Yeah, that, and I like Boomer Goinger's theme, it's pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Then again, this game is an awesome soundtrack, as with all Mega Man games. And I'm not gonna be like, film improvise my own stupid lyrics while I yodel like a drunken Irishman. A, a drunken Irishman on map? Mm, nah, with a- that sounds like a seal. Actually, how about one that sounds like- Or like a dimension like Mr. Krabs. Think about it, his laugh sounds a little bit like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, it kind of does. Except, considering that the two are greedy assholes, it, it comes as no surprise. Let's see, I gotta make a shotgun sled. Damn it! So it's like, why the hell are people making such a big deal about Lavender Town? Well, it actually, the actual original theme can cause a headache. Then in the, in the original game, it was actually kind of dark. Because it actually had, like... Because there it actually shows that Pokemon could die, and the music, admittedly, is kind of creepy. Yeah. Kind of like the Resident Evil 1 basement thing, but not the one from the DualShock version. <laughs> Damn it! I could get that on one try. God, I am really sucking. Damn it! Oh. Oh. Mm. Let's try this one more time. Let's see, I'm gonna kill him and see if I can... There it goes. Wait till that thing goes away. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Piss off. Walk off and. I gotta go down and quickly farm a little bit. There we go. Oh, I know that, the old chateau. Man, I am really sucking now. I deeply apologize, my loyal viewers. Yes! There we go, now we can continue. <coughs> you okay? Got my throat. I'm good now. Hey, can those propellers hurt you? No. Have you ever heard Danny from Game Grumps' pot stories? No. Oh. Well, um, he actually admitted that he did smoke marijuana before. And, and you know, like, all the things that people say about people who smoke marijuana, like, they, they put it in their food and stuff. Yeah. Well, those rumors are actually true. Figured. Especially yeah, I remember like DSP started making up a story of how he and was hardcore and how he smoked a joint. It's a total lie though, because he ripped it out everything out from Sarth Park. Yeah, he like ripped off his story from South Park how he had to like shit and vomit in the same time in the toilet. I'll post an annotation, right? Like in the right here. Ah. What, what is he? M Bison? Nah. He kinda looks like Bison on the line. Huh. I thought it was like a Minotaur initially. Let's see. But how does he look anything like a beetle? Oh, yeah, the armor. Oh. Let's see. Stag beetle. Google search. 
Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Alrighty. Alrighty. Seems legit. Boomerang cutter. Cutman rock. Cut yeah, man. see, it's Cutman. I am going to make paper dolls out of you. I'm going to make paper dolls out of you. Kung Fu Cutman. Oh god, you remember that video? Let's see, I'm gonna head here real quick. Cutman, it was like um. It was like, now well, why would anyone follow the bathroom door? And it's like, Cutman and Cutsman, like, um, you know, doing the obvious. Ah. So, why are we back here again? I need to backtrack real quick. I'm just grab an item that I can get real quickly. Oh, okay. It's the, uh. So no, the armor's at Sin Chameleon. Oh, that's right. No, it's the subtank. Oh. Oh. There we go. The reason why I didn't do it off camera is it's just easy to do immediately. It takes little to no time, really. Let's see. Sting Chameleon. And here, now Metal we flooded, trees. and now we flooded the water too, which will come in handy for for the last heart tank that we need to get. Yeah. Um, so back to Danny's stories. Um, so, you know, when you put when you put a when you put the I'm just gonna call marijuana the the wacky stuff because that's what it is. It is like really weird. So um. He makes a bunch of brownies. And, um... And what... There and, we go. And what happened was, like... He described it as, um... Now we need to hop up here. He described it as, um... Like, he made a bunch of them. He ate... His friend ate one and left. But then he ate one, but... Hey, it's Otto. Oh, yeah, Otto. But, um, you know, like, people say when you, like, when you, when you get high or something, you, you get the munchies, which is when you get really hungry, so he ate the brownie, another brownie, and then he kept on eating the brownies. Yeah, so he did nothing but eat brownies. So essentially he did nothing to help himself. Nah, I, dude, when, you, you don't seem to grasp the situation, dude. Not real, not in the slightest, honestly. Look, look this is what happened. He ate a marijuana brownie. Yeah. He got hungry. There's, uh, a, there's a plate of marijuana brownies. So, so he, he keeps ate eating one. the brownies. I know. That's what I was trying to. Yeah. That's what. That's what I was saying. Yeah. He just does nothing to help the situation, really. Yeah, but then he tried to play Morrowind, but he couldn't because that's he was all. Hungry. Because uh, that's all he did when he did for I think one year. I don't know. If Danny is from Game Grumps is watching this, can you please confirm this? All right, there's no air dash. So, um, there we go. We're weakening him out. That's for sure. I'm using this because I can actually attack him from behind. So, um, there we go. See? So, uh, do you remember that black burger from Burger King? Uh, yeah, the thing around Halloween. Yeah. The thing that, like, made everyone's crack green. Yeah. Um, that was probably the weirdest thing ever. Right. Wait, but you want to know what the weird thing is? Is that there's a pink one in Japan. Made from, I know. Made from rose petals. Ah, uh, you gotta hit it like on the correct hitbox. You know the, you know what the robot kind of reminds me of, like the body. What? It kind of reminds me of Fawful from. Ah, uh, it kind of does. And Let's also, see. Oh. Oh. That, channel your brand Daniel. <clears throat> Here we go. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It'll reduce damage you take to your systems by fifty percent.
There we go. Full power! Now we look like a Super Saiyan. Now we look like the Saiyans. Like, you know how the Saiyan oh, yeah, armors yeah, are? Yeah. Even though I never really watched that much Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, and I oh, could yeah, definitely... I saw, I saw a 80... I saw the Animation Domination HD um, parody where they did Goku making a sandwich. It was essentially he just did what he do, he just does what he does when he goes Super Saiyan, and then he uh, he summons bread from like a baker, like the loaves fly out of the store. Ah. The bacon is like ripped fresh, fresh from the pig's back. It's like it's like peeling off. Okay. Lettuce and tomatoes is coming, and then I think I know what I should probably do. Cheese after. is like spraying from a cat. I think I know what game I should probably do after this. Probably Jack and Dexter. Do the Jack and Dexter trilogy. Oh yeah. Because I meant to do that earlier, but I lost the videos. I think it's gonna be a bit better with direct capture. Yeah. Then considering how hard I've seen Phil Butcher Jack too, which admittedly is a very hard game, but Phil. What, is, what are you traveling on, Sarah? Or is that swamp water? It's probably quicksand. It doesn't look like sand. Quicksand's more muddy in texture, really. If Metal, because Metal Gear Three had quick, Metal Gear Solid Three had quicksand also, in like the Soviet jungle. Yeah. That's like early in the game. Phil died in and complained that the game didn't explain that you're gonna die in quicksand. Yes, he said that. He said that the game needs to explain it. Yeah. What an idiot. He is an idiot. Just like Christian. Chris Christian. They're like, they need to fight to the death. They need to, like, be locked in, like, a, an arena and fight to the death. Yeah, Chris Chan will be armed with his pepper spray. Just to be, Don't call and just, anyone. And just like uh, Justin Bieber versus, um, versus Rebecca Black. Ah, oh, crap. They need to scatter weapons all over the battlefield just to make it more fun. The SP will have a shot. The SP will have a shotgun and Chris Chan will have his... And then like, bugs, we'll bugs, bugs. Spraying mechanics, dude. Yeah, yeah, and he'll he'll complain about the shotgun. It's a reference to his Metal Gear Solid 3 playthrough when he had to fight the end, who's a sniper boss, you know? And he was like, great, where's my shotgun? You can't shoot someone with pellets. You can, I mean, yeah, you can actually sneak up on the end and kill him non-lethally, but no. But given how Phil doesn't want to play it non-lethally... I mean, when I play Metal Gear, I try to go as stealthy as possible, but I use force if necessary. And there we go. Channel your next more dramatic voice. <clears throat> so wait, is this the last level? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah, so it's like the same armor. Oh yeah. Channel your dramatic voice. Now, like, do it like a deep for Daniel style voice, okay. but like how he alters it. Okay. Let's go in and put an end to this war against the humans. Eh, good enough, I guess. I tried to do uh, And he's like doing like a little Elvis style lip. Yeah. Wait, give him the little black. Like the hair. little. Yeah, and like the little white coat. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna cut it from here.